Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to study about the uses of hydrogen and this topic is under ICSC standard 9 syllabus from the chapter study of first element hydrogen. hydrogen are easy and it can be asked in one mark question it also asked in reason and it also asked in fill in the blank or multiple choice question so we need to understand it and we need to remember it so this is point wise manner and in short form I have written it this way you can remember it easily first is in hydrogenation of oil we are using hydrogen when hydrogen gas we are passing from or we are reacting it with organic compound. Then with the presence of platinum and nickel and at high pressure and temperature is around 200 degrees Celsius then the hydrogenation will happen. Organic compound may have double bond and triple bond when we are adding hydrogen to that it will convert into single bond and triple bond will convert into double bond. This we are going to study in 10th standard in organic chemistry. But at this stage you remember this that organic compounds hydrogenation we are doing it. It is very important. By this way we are converting palm oil into a semi-solid state or into a fat. So hydrogenation is important for vegetable oil. Then some of the metals like nickel and platinum they will absorb hydrogen gas and large amount of hydrogen gas they will absorb on their surface this phenomena is known as occlusion this is a phenomena and its name is occlusion this is important because they can absorb large amount of hydrogen on their surface then second hydrogenation of coal when we are taking a powder coal and we are passing hydrogen gas from that at high pressure with the effect of catalyst then we will get a product which is equivalent to a petroleum with high percentage of hydrogen so in a way we are enhancing a quality of coal and we are making it exactly similar to the petroleum with high percentage of hydrogen so we are enhancing capacity of coal or quality of coal via hydrogenation. Then third is in extraction of metal. Any metal oxide you will take and you are reacting with hydrogen gas then it will the metal will reduce and we will get a metal and water because hydrogen will react with this oxygen and the metal is being reduced in this reaction. So here we are using hydrogen as reducing reagent then fourth one this is important that we are using hydrogen in welding and cutting metal why because we are using oxyhydrogen flame this flame has a temperature as high as 2800 degrees celsius so that's why we can use this in cutting and welding of metal and last but not least the hydrogen we are using in oxidation and reduction reaction. When hydrogen is attached to any element then that element is being reduced. For example this X is element when it is becoming XH then X is being reduced here. Addition of hydrogen is reduction and when XH is there it is becoming X then removal of hydrogen is termed as oxidation so X is being oxidized here so in both the type of reaction redox reaction, reduction reaction and in oxidation reaction we require hydrogen to know more about oxidation and reduction I have given a video link in the description please watch that video and understand how hydrogen and oxygen taking part in oxidation and reduction. So here we have completed our chapter and in coming videos we are going to discuss some of the question answer and scientific reason from this chapter. So don't forget to subscribe learn yourself. I'll see you in next video till then keep learning keep sharing.